Hello everyone and welcome to Russia Podcast. This podcast is made for you who want to learn how to take care of your health and also for other subjects. I will answer to your questions that I get on Instagram and YouTube. And remember, Russia Podcast doesn't substitute a professional medical advice. Hello again, my dear listeners, and welcome to this new episode of Russia Podcast. I'm your host, Russia Bia. In this episode, the subject will be about lectins. I don't know if you have heard about them or not, but lectins are type of proteins which exist in many, many foods, especially legumes and grains. So many doctors and specialists around the world are talking about it right now, saying lectins are very dangerous and damaging to your guts especially. So, lectins exist in plants and also in animals, and I will detail in a little bit what the difference between those two. In plants, it is like a defense mechanism. It means like the plant produces lectins against bugs and animals who eat plants to protect itself and of course make sure it survives. But why many scientific and specialists became so obsessed and interested about lectins Actually, they realized that um, understanding those lectins and their mechanism will be a way to find a solution against some really bad chronic disease and especially uh, autoimmune disease. And I will see how in this episode. So as usual, we will discuss some kind of research and what they are saying and uh, what's the, op- the objectives of those. Legumes like beans, soy, peanuts, remember the first episode when I talked about peanuts and how they are bad? So they contain a lot of lectins. Uh, some of the foods that contain a huge amount of lectins, like the beans and the soy, okay? So imagine having um, h- how they find out. Uh, in 1976 in England, nine boys ate kidney beans. They were not boiled and they were not cooked. And after one hour and a half, they finished in the hospital with diarrhea and really throwing up. Like it means like uh, they just ate four kidney beans. Uh, one of one of the boys ate just four kidney beans and just they finished this way. And it, this is how they understood the damaging uh, effects of kidney beans when they're not boiled. So f- from that time, they just start writing on labels: "Do not eat them and cooked." From there, they find out about lectins. In legumes, those lectins, we call them uh, phytoemiglutinin. They have different names in all legumes, so it's not important to know them. This is just one example. Uh, There are almost 100 known sources of lectins in many fruits and vegetables as well. There are some which are harming, especially for vulnerable people. And we will see why. And as I said in the beginning, lectins bind uh, to carbs. No, I didn't say this in the beginning. (laughs) No, so the lectins bind into carbs, right? All the glucose. This is how it happens. When your your body cells are compound uh, in its membrane, this compound contains a carb or glucose at the end. And uh, so the glucose part exists in the protein molecule. Uh, and uh, this is how lectins will bind or get linked to the cell membrane. Um, lectins they are very resistant to digestion enzymes, and in most, most cases they are eliminated, and they are not nutritionally they are nutritionally, nutritionally <laughs> useless. Um, in digestion, when they reach intestine, they are not digested, so they will bind to intestine cells like with the mechanism I just described. And this is how they can cause huge problems in intestines like leaky gut. And we will have a special episode about this particular issue very soon. In short, leaky gut means that the tight junction that links intestine cells are broken, allowing them the, the big particles which are not digested like proteins like the lectins or the gliadin of the gluten um, and also some microbes and uh, the toxins which are not supposed to, to go through and pass through, we will find them in the blood. And when we will find them there, they will cause an immune activation and a huge immune response which is really bad. There is a study actually in 1983 You will find the link of the study in the description, which has shown how lectins allow uh, uh, fat storage, and like insulin actually, or even more, they found that people who stopped eating lectin sources lost a lot of weight. How this works, 
Remember on my Instagram channel, I described some effects of the insulin when it's high and how it will enhance fat storage and it inhibits fat burning? I think you do. And if you don't, just um, I will post it again. Lectins, what they do is that they will activate insulin receptors and will produce then the same insulin effects. So imagine when they are together. In another study, they found that lectins block leptin. So leptins is also another subject. But leptins, uh, I talked about it briefly on my fructose video in my uh, YouTube channel, remember? Leptins with a P is the society hormone and lectins with a C will block it. And the individual will not feel full. He will just keep eating and eating over and over again. Moreover, Lectins can be the cause behind heartburn or reflux. Uh, the mechanism is kind of complex, I'm not gonna describe it here, but there will be more acid production. That's why we find a reduction of this condition when the patients start a low-carb, high-fat diet after just six days because they cut greens, a main lectin source. And as I said in the beginning, we have uh, animal lectin sources and plant sources. They made a, a comparison between those two sources to check which one is more harm, uh, harmful and they found that the plant's lectin source cause more histamine secretion um, which is really much more than the protein source making the plant of course more harmful so be careful vegetarian and vegan people in another very recent study in 2016 uh, they found or they wanted to see how can lectins be one of the reasons behind Parkinson's disease. They found that lectins go to the neurons affected by Parkinson and uh, they will affect it and its dopamine secretion. So the dopamine is one of the reasons um, behind, uh, behind Parkinson's disease. If you go back to leaky gut, a condition that occurs uh, in intestines, we can see that gluten, for example, is one of the main reasons behind it. And you know what? Gluten are lectins. <laughs> 80% of wheat proteins are gluten. They are useless and they are damaging for everyone. And this has been my opinion from since the beginning. I, I, res I, I remember that I posted on my Instagram stories um, a figure that show how gluten can be damaging to celiac people and to non-celiac, right? So having it or not, having that disease or not, they will really hurt you. Furthermore, um, it causes autoimmune diseases, of course, long term. Like it's not like gonna cause it like uh, tomorrow if you eat it. Uh, the question is like I eat gluten and um, am I gonna have an autoimmune disease? Am I at risk? This is the question you're gonna ask to, to yourself. Um, and well, the answer is not really yes or no. There are a lot of factors which um, when they are combined all together, there is a huge risk to catch the disease, uh, that disease, autoimmune disease. Some of those factors are genetics, so you don't pick up your parents, right? Uh, uh, leaky gut, having a leaky gut, and there are many reasons behind, ha be behind having a leaky gut, uh, and eating a lot of gluten. And we can say that many actually have already two of those factors crossed, like the leaky gut and eating a lot of gluten. Other factors, factors exist, also uh, pollution, pesticide, plastic BPA or BPS, um, and of course lectin. So if you are someone who drink a lot of water from plastic, eh, try to consider that. So imagine how your gut is suffering. But, but, as I said, I always try to give you guys uh, solutions for every problem as much as I can. Um, there, are, there are some way to protect your intestines and... Um, to protect your guts in general. Uh, those solutions, for example, you have uh, eating good fats, uh, like olive oil, coconut oil, uh, animal fats, right? Uh, they will protect your guts. And there's also glutamine. Glutamine is something that will protect your guts as well and your intestines. They are mainly found in uh, food that contain proteins like eggs, meat, fish, poultry. And of course, there are some plants like carrots that contain glutamine. And you can, you can also have it as a supplement, it exists. Um, in Algeria, I'm not sure about it. <laughs> Another important question to know is, does eliminating, that's the last question actually, we're gonna finish the episode with it. Does eliminating lectins when having an autoimmune disease is really helpful? And the answer is yes. Why? 
because there is a study done in 2017 which has uh, that they realized this with patients suffering from intestine inflammations and one final thing be before closing is in order to get rid of lectins in legumes for example uh, the best way is to cook them really well and how to cook them is using uh, a pressure cooker the pressure cooker we're gonna cook it like for one hour is the best way to get rid of lectins if you are someone who consume legumes very often just buy a pressure cooker and use it so guys, I hope you understood a little bit and you got and uh, you had now a small idea about lectins or that they can do to your uh, to your guts, to your to your overall health. If you know someone who is suffering from autoimmune disease or just uh, a problem in your intestines, share with them uh, this episode. Maybe they will understand and maybe they will find a way to their problem. And so, so thank you so much, Guy, for listening to me until now and finishing this complex episode with me. I hope you uh, learned and understood something from it. And as I said, always take care of yourself, take care of your health, and your health is your choice. Bye-bye.